Good evening, class. My name is Mickey, and I'm here to introduce our next speaker. As you all know, he's really into beatboxing. He's going to go a little bit more about the person who inspired him with beatboxing and other things in life. He'll explain how his excitement for music sparked him into really start beatboxing. Now he had to try new things to stay inspired and excited. He'll go in depth on why his inspiration can inspire you and why he's inspired many others around the world. Please help me introduce Anthony Martinez. Good evening, everyone. I'm here once again to talk more in depth about beatboxing. If you guys couldn't tell by now, I am pretty much obsessed with beatboxing in every aspect that can be. Not only because I'm making really human sounds, but because I can make myself dance with just using myself as an instrument. Which is why I started to become really passionate into beatboxing. 24 year old man named Reeps named Harry Yeff, aka Reeps One, really changed my perspective on how to take upon music and how you can have the ability to make other people dance. Harry lived in the east side of London for the majority of his life until he was 16. He lived in a more poor area for the majority of his life. Uh, he enjoyed to play chess with his father. Uh, and he would always be inspired to draw after seeing the pieces uh, his father would create. Those creating three things he loves to do, beatboxing, chess, and painting. Today I will tell you uh, about how Harry made an impact on my life towards beatboxing, but along with other random aspects of life. One of the two main reasons of why he inspired me so much was because I enjoyed the genre of dubstep by Profoundly, and his style was based all around that. I was obsessed with the fact that the music I really liked could be replicated through the human mouth. And second was because at a young age, I was told I had ADD. And in one of his interviews, he, was, he had also mentioned he had, AD, he had it, but he did not view it as a bad thing, especially when he was told at the age of 16 that he did not have it. It's, he felt like it put order in his life rather than a disorder and feels that it is wrong to label someone into a category and make them feel different from everyone else. Which I liked hearing that kind of perspective from someone so influential, influential to me because it gave me a sense of thinking that I wasn't so freakish. After a while, he dedicated his labeling of ADD and made it the title of his exhibition art show called ADO, Attention Deficit Disorder. At first, he was not my absolute favorite, but over the years of watching him and pretty much him being one of the only beatboxers to participate in little interviews, made me like him that much more as a beatboxer and that much more as an actual person. Harry was proclaimed an expert, but not just in a professional sense, but in a scientific sense, by Dr. McGidigan, a neuroscientist at the University College of London. Something I found interesting that Dr. McGidigan said was, what we have at the moment is a demonstration that being an expert doesn't mean you activate more of your brain. The phrase, less is more, is appropriate in the sense. With the years to come, I found Harry's interviews very inspiring towards my beatboxing as a whole. But in one of his interviews, he gave very powerful insight on how one should take about their talents and hobbies. Harry stated, for the past six years, I've been inspired by art, chess, and beatboxing. It creates a triangle. I always stay inspired because I am always so focused on one of those three things, and it keeps me going in a cycle to rekindle my excitement for each one. It keeps the flow of excitement generated. Which really made me realize that I was always fully focused towards beatboxing, and it would bore me in moments because after two to three months, I would be, I would be at a brick wall and I couldn't find my inspiration and learn something new. I then pushed myself to consistently go to the gym, something I've always I've been doing for quite some time, but always managed to slack off, and rekindle my love for soccer. Harry's theory of the triangle really gave me insight on how I should navigate my life, and has truly placed me in a better spot. So to recap, I talked to you guys more in depth about one of my many inspirations in beatboxing. I talked about how he influenced me in many other aspects of life not just beatboxing, and talked about how I found him to be 
My favorite beatboxer due to his interviews and how much I was able to relate to this professional beatboxer on a deeper level, deeper, deeper level other than wanting to learn how to beatbox. If there is one thing I want you to take away from this, it is to keep doing what you love, whether it be tasting diff different beers, looking at shapes and thinking about them immensely, Garrett, <laughs> or trying different vegetables to ferment. <laughs> as long as you can keep it in a cycle to re-excite you every time. I have a quick little clip. Are you ready? When I'm gray, I know when I still be getting, when I still be getting. Pip folk and folk, ship folk and folk, pip folk and folk, ship folk. Pip folk and folk, ship folk and folk, pip folk and folk, ship folk and folk, pip folk and folk, ship 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 folk